Have you ever had any fear, concerns or doubts in life while pursuing any serious goal? I wonder how can something that itself starts with a D and an O, that is do, stop us from moving ahead and taking action? We always have two choices, whether to get bogged down or to go ahead and do it anyways. Your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions. Discipline means being your own disciple. How can we not have a checklist regarding the goals of our biggest project called life? Even the greatest of leaders like Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela needed help in their movements. You see, the spectators in the stadium never win or lose that game, no matter how vocal or loud they are during the game. May you be doubtful and be hugely successful, not without them, but because of them. Welcome on board. You are at the Life Cues Junction. Congratulations. You are at the right channel on a wonderful journey called life. Are you ready for a new ride today? Remember, the train leaves on time. So please go ahead, subscribe and press the bell icon to help us be on time. Done that? Thank you. Let's go. Have you ever had any fear, concerns or doubts in life while pursuing any serious goal? You wondered whether things would work out well or not? You thought whether you would succeed or fail in your pursuit? My friend, doubts are with us all along the journey of life. The fact of the matter is that we all encounter doubts while embarking on anything even remotely significant. There may be some big doubts like whether you would be able to find and fulfill your life's purpose and some smaller ones like whether you'll be able to shed some extra pounds to live with more energy and vitality. Sometimes there may be some absolutely silly doubts as well like a friend of mine had when he first started learning how to drive a car. This is a funny story. After having tried his hands on the wheels in a big empty ground for a few days, when he first ventured out onto the main street, he was so doubtful if the oncoming traffic would come crashing right into him that he had literally kept the windows down and tried to wave away the oncoming vehicles with his hands as much as he could. His logic was pretty simple. After all, the oncoming folks did not know that he was out on the road for the first time so he had this grand reason to be doubtful. Well, finally the ride got over without any major incident, barring one. His driving instructor almost died laughing that day. <laughs> so there is no way that any of us can be devoid of all doubts forever in our journey. And when we give negative energy to our doubts and fears by not acting in the right way, it causes cognitive dissonance, a chaos in our brain which stops us from trying anything new, leave alone going full distance with it. In this video, we would show you how you can look at your doubts from a different perspective in a more positive way rather than giving in to the pressures that we may feel whenever we face doubts. We at Life Cues Junctions are not extraordinary people. We are a team of some normal people with continuously evolving dreams like anyone out there. Our entire team is deeply fascinated with the ever-expanding borders and frontiers of human potential. So in this video, we are also going to share with you some simple concepts and techniques that we have learnt in this process on how to deal with our doubts. Talking of doubts, I wonder how can something that itself starts with a D and an O, that is do, stop us from moving ahead and taking action? If looked at differently, our doubts actually push us to summon all our might and move forward because on the other side of our doubts awaits victory. In fact, if you carefully look back at your own journey, you would realize that achieving your toughest and most doubtful looking goals gave you the most happiness, the biggest satisfaction. Let's now try and decode and deconstruct doubts in a way that dealing with them becomes a positive and joyful affair. For this, doubt, the word itself gives me all the clues. I look at doubt as an acronym. The first step 
starts with a D, as in decide. Vicky says, doubt is defined as a mental state in which the mind remains suspended between two or more contradictory propositions, unable to assent to any one of them. This can result in delaying or rejecting relevant action out of concern for mistakes or missed opportunities. In case of any doubt, we always have two choices, whether to get bogged down or to go ahead and do it anyways. The first mandatory requirement is to decide and decide well. No matter what, consciously or unconsciously, intentionally or unintentionally, we eventually end up deciding. Even if I keep sitting and doing nothing about my goals, that is also a decision made by myself, even if it is not deliberate. Therefore, making a decision is something we can never escape. Then why not decide consciously for our own good? So what can help us decide better? Ask yourself a simple question. Am I interested or committed to this goal? Interest will make you settle for an easy path, but commitment will take you all the way through. Then, how do we go from being interested to being committed? Try what I call a silver screen visualization. Imagination holds the key here. Albert Einstein once said, your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions. Just sit down somewhere, ideally in a quiet place. Close your eyes and imagine yourself watching a blockbuster movie on a big screen with you as the main lead. Take a few deep breaths. Think about a key goal of yours and imagine yourself having already achieved your goal. Imagine how it would feel like having achieved that goal and enjoying all the benefits, the accolades and satisfaction that comes with it. Imagine everything in as much detail as you can and see how it feels. If it really feels great in your mind, your heart and your guts, then go for it. You can be sure that this is a goal worthy enough to be pursued. This simple technique is extremely effective in arriving at the right decision and also in sticking with it till the end. Number two, once decided, the next step starts with an O, as in organize. We need to organize our thoughts and do some organized planning to get going. This organization would require discipline. Once again, like doubts, we ought to see discipline in a positive way. Discipline means being your own disciple. See this as your joyful vehicle toward your goals. Think like this, we do not have to do some work, rather we get to do that work. And the beauty is that you do not have to do it all in a single day. Break things down into smaller work packages, add expected outcome for each work package, jot down what you have and what all resources you will need during the course and get started at once. A simple way to organize better is to eliminate all distractions and spend some good time upfront to prepare a clear action plan with clear timelines supported by a daily checklist. This daily checklist is a must which should cover all smaller steps that you need to take on a given day. You see, when we can prepare checklists for different projects at our workplace, even for personal projects and events like birthday parties, how can we not have a checklist regarding the goals of our biggest project called life? This kind of organization helps string together a lot of great action days which will ultimately lead to big accomplishments. Then comes you as in utilize at number three. What do I mean by utilize here? This has got both internal and external dimensions. Internally, it means that while working on our clearly laid out action plan, we need to utilize all our mental and physical faculties and our potential necessary to attain that goal. But only that much may not be enough for bigger goals. On the external front, you need to reach out to potential associates, alliances, and partners and see how you can best leverage and utilize them in your pursuit. Remember, nobody ever does it alone. You cannot even hug yourself alone, cannot even cry on your own shoulders should there be a situation. You would need someone else for that. So build some good relationships. Seek and give help whenever, wherever possible. Sporting legends like 
Usain Bolt or Michael Phelps did not win all their Olympic goals on their own. Even the greatest of leaders like Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela needed help in their movements. As for us, we can even simply look around everywhere possible and find help. There are people who are willing to answer our questions. It is just that we need to get out of our comfort zone, ask those questions, ask for help, and keep asking till we get the help that we need. For example, if you write wonderful content which you want to deliver online, then go and see if there is someone who is great at creating videos. She'll help you. You never know, she may also be looking for someone in whose collaboration she can find expressions for her talents and skills. And remember, when the going gets tough in terms of action, get back to your bigger picture, to your silver screen. Number four, believe. Then comes the fourth piece of the puzzle in winning over our doubts. And that fourth piece is B, as in belief and boldness. It tells us to be bold and brave while chasing our dreams. In our pursuit to anything that holds some importance for us, doubt is the necessary evil. In fact, a key component for achieving anything great, a basic requirement in order to develop the required belief, the faith in your ability to achieve your goals. As it says, whenever there is doubt, grant me faith. So in order to get to the right level of faith in your quest for success, you have to have doubts. The bigger the doubts, the bigger will be your faith. Have the faith that it will all come good in the end. Strange are the ways of the universe. There is no other choice. You have to be bold if you are aiming for something big. You cannot go for it with a timid approach or tentatively. Unless you take the plunge, you will not learn how to fly. How do you think you will move forward by sitting on the fence? I'm not saying that you should throw all caution to the wind, but you have to take some calculated risks and believe that you will be able to figure out what you don't know. And you calculate those risks while organizing and planning. You see, the spectators in the stadium never win or lose that game, no matter how vocal or loud they are during the game. It is the players out in the middle who actually do it. So trust your guts and get out in the middle. Number five is thankfulness. The last and from my point of view, the most important factor that helps us overcome any doubt of any magnitude starts with a T. This T stands for thankfulness, having an attitude of gratitude. Being thankful is the biggest antidote to all our doubts and fears. The great Tony Robbins says so beautifully that you cannot be grateful and fearful at the same time. And I completely agree with him that gratitude and doubts cannot reside in the same place. I encourage you to be thankful for everything. Your life, your family, all big and small things, your ambitions that are there on offer. Because a lot of great things have been achieved in this world before we even arrived here. Be thankful even for your doubts because if you have some serious doubts, it's a clear sign that you have some serious desires and a big goal. And that means there is a clear opportunity for success. And this thankfulness, the attitude of gratitude, ties back beautifully to our silver screen visualization. My humble suggestion is to be thankful at the end of every visualization session for the goal that you have only achieved in your imagination yet. A saintly Indian poet Kabir once wrote something very deep about doubts around the 15th century, which largely translates into, no matter whatever robes one wears or whichever spiritual practice one follows, one can never be free of doubts and fear unless one connects with the Almighty. So go ahead, visualize and connect with the Almighty. Be thankful and grateful to the powers that be, whatever that you believe in, because no matter how much ever we have advanced in all areas, there is something divine which has made us all, which has made these days and nights, which has caused this air that we breathe, the earth that we walk on. So my friend, if we can visualize to arrive at a clear D decision regarding our goal, O organize well and execute our plans with B belief while maintaining an attitude of T thankfulness and gratitude, I have no doubts that we can not only overcome all our doubts and fears, 
but we will also be able to make them our friends, our companion in our quest for success. May you be doubtful and be hugely successful, not without them, but because of them. Thank you and God bless you. Well, that's all for our ride today. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave us a like and subscribe if not already done so. Thank you for being such a wonderful guest. Take a ride with our next video or see you on our next trip. Till then, take good care of yourself and stay special. Bye-bye.